two stones you missed that drug test at work, soon you can miss them all. Also, how to steal $18.5 billion from Big Pharma by using weed. Pineapple Express is back and it has a devastating effect on California. Check that story out and the rest of them in this episode of the News Roach. Nervous about that drug test from your employer? Just chill dudes and dudes. Soon drug testing for cannabis could be a thing of the past. Drug testing employees is nothing new in this country. Then President Reagan signed the Drug Free Workplace Act of 1998 to combat rampant drug use in the military. Think cocaine! Soon civilian companies start doing similar tests for their employees and new recruits. One estimation is that 57% of US companies do some kind of drug testing, but for with more chill attitude towards cannabis, many companies are dropping the cannabis test part. Yay! Big Pharma's objection to legalized cannabis is nothing new. We all know that they are to lose big if weed becomes legalized, but now we know exactly how much they are about to lose. New Frontier Data uh, published a study in 2017 detailing how much it will cost Big Pharma annually if weed became legal in all 50 states. The study focused on nine different ailments that are commonly treated with cannabis. And in no particular order, these ailments are Tourette syndrome, uh, glaucoma, chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, PTSD, nerve pain, anxiety, chronic pain, sleep disorders, and seizures. Right now, the U.S. pharmaceutical market is 35% of the global market. So guess how much they're about to lose? Well, check this out. $18.5 billion annually. That's what it said to lose. So this is why, of course, they are pushing uh, legislation and for candidates who are opposing legalized marijuana. $18.5 billion is a big motivator. So we just have to keep voting for the right people, for the right causes, and hopefully in the future, uh, cannabis can be part of everybody's health regime if they so choose to. And now for that ancient stoner question, what came first, Pineapple Express, the movie, or Pineapple Express, the sativa strain? Uh, actually, it's neither. Pineapple Express is a weather phenomenon that occurs when rainfall close to the Hawaiian Islands creates an atmospheric river of moisture traveling up the west coast of America, of North America, and finally straight to my freaking house, it seems. Uh, the Pine Express doesn't occur every year, but often enough to be freaking annoying. It's uh, straight up a monsoon, pretty much. But back to the question, which came first, the movie or the strain? I started to look this up. In 2014, Seth Rogen explained that before the movie, there was no such thing as Pineapple Express. He said, but as we were writing it, we were like, if we one day at the weed store and we're buying weed and somebody's offering us Pineapple Express, that means we made it. And he's absolutely right. Have you ever tried Pineapple Express? It's a great little satira. Check it out and check it out while you check out the movie. All right. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to subscribe on the bottom. Thank you so much for watching. And please do remember that there is THC in healthcare.